Right guys, so the strange old man in my area, he has, um, his house is up for sale now, going for 630,000, which is a little bit dear, because it's a three bedroom bungalow, um, one bath, 84 meters squared, um, you know, it's expensive area, but still, I don't think it's worth that much, because there's like bigger houses and that for sale on this, uh, daft.ie. Um, going for like less than that, going for like 500,000, 550,000. So I'm going to try to show you the, um, yeah, that's the house. That's the area, the strange old man in my area grew up in. He's a bit, I, t I made a video about this guy before. He, um, you know, he, one day I was out running and he ran outside his house and started staring at me as if he'd just seen a ghost. All right, I mentioned that before. Uh, now he seems to put a lot of effort into this, um, you know, he, um, he seems to have taken 37 photographs and that is, that is a lot. Okay. As you can see there, this is the upstairs area of the house. Um, I used to always think this house was just a one story like bungalow, but no, it has two stories, uh, which is kind of surprising. Um, and yeah, yeah, the house does look, uh, quite nice. Um, you know, I don't know why he's selling the house. I don't know where he's going. His name is Paul W. Paul W. Um, I don't. Well, obviously W is not his surname. I think his surname starts with a W, but he's not going to put his whole surname in because in case I see his surname, I might like look him up on Facebook and try to uh, harass him. Because <laughs> you know, uh, I did. I did take. I did film his house once. I did um make, making a video about him. I used to laugh at him every time he walked past me on the streets because I used to thought he was very strange. For that incident where he ran outside his house and started staring at me as if he saw a ghost when I was running up that hill that he lives on. Because I live like a three minute walk away from, well, I used to live a three minute walk away from there. Uh, another good um, image of his house there. Uh, so yeah, if you're thinking about buying this from this guy, just remember he's a bit, he's a bit odd. <laughs> just, just keep that in mind. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nice looking house. I'm trying. I'm looking for more photographs. I want to try to show you. Um, oh, that looks nice. You know, yeah, it does. Really surprised that it was again. I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna repeat myself. Uh, it does look like a one story house from the outside. Um, I knew this guy's name was Paul because I heard him talking to a construction worker who came in to do a job for him, and he referred to him as Paul. So Paul W. What does that stand for? His email and phone number is on this website and. Maybe a few years ago, I might have um, sent him an email or something, uh, calling him a weirdo. But no, I think at my age of 24, I'm like, nah, that's too far. Just don't do that, you know. Um, show him some. Yeah, you got a very nice view um, from this house, uh, as you can see, you know. Uh, it's on top of like a hill, so you can kind of see like Cliny Hill, Hof in the distance. Uh, Hof being further away than Cliny Hill, of course, because this is... That is Cabin Tidy, you know, it's on the south side. So it's not too far from Cliny Hill. I used to go running. I used to run from my house over to Cliny Hill. I think it was only just over three miles away, so it's not too far. Cliny Hill. Um, I feel like Cabin Tidy is more quiet than most of the Dublin suburbs. Uh, it's a little bit further out than most Dublin suburbs, to be fair. Kind of at the edge of the city. Uh, nice view of the other person's house. He doesn't have any photographs of himself in this collection there's the garden no grass it's all just stones and um, a decked wooden floor ah uh, you know what i mean uh any more photographs that looks like a nice photograph this front garden a lot of plants and stuff uh if you know what i mean uh there's a little fence there uh if you go over that fence you head into cabin td park uh you know it's just handy having a park so close to you if you know what i mean uh, here's another photograph uh, of his uh, front garden. If you go up around this way, there's like an entrance just around here. That entrance kind of leads up into Carcmides Wood, which is where my mother lives, which is where I lived for nine years, uh, just around the corner. I don't think you can see it from the photograph. Oh, no, you can see it in the photograph. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I'm going to try to show you now. Uh, where is it exactly? Uh, just around here. Yeah, around here, there's like, yeah, I think that's like the entrance into my, um, into the estate I grew up in. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, 
Yeah, there's another nice one. Yeah, he really does have a lot of nice plants in his front garden. I guess if you're paying, if you're charging 630 grand for your house and it's only a bungalow, then yeah, you have to keep the place nice. You know what I mean? I think he's asking for too much, to be honest. Yeah, there's a very nice uh, view of the place. Uh, you can see Cliny Hill there. That's uh, Cabin Tilly Park in there. Um, you know what I mean? It looks nice and glamorous there. Um, but, you know, when I lived there, it was a different story because, you know. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, I had a low IQ. Uh, it wasn't very... Um, I felt like there was no hope for me in life. But uh, obviously, that things have changed since I started working on my, uh, my brain. There is his greyhound, Phoebe. Um, you know, it's actually a very funny story about Phoebe. Um, you know, when I was new to the area at 16, uh, I was just walking down the uh, uh, the hill into this guy's estate. And um, his, he, he let Grey, Phoebe, the greyhound, run off the lead. And Phoebe kind of ran up towards me. And then Paul W. Uh, screams at the top of his voice, Phoebe! Phoebe! Get back here! And I'm like, geez, look, if you're going to let the dog off a lead, he's going to do this kind of stuff. If you don't want your dog running up to people, then keep the dog on the lead. Okay? Um, it's as simple as that. It really, really is. Um, yeah, uh, one last photograph here. Looks quite nice. You got a nice view from the sunset. Uh, he really has made a big effort to try to make photographs uh, and portray his house well. But, you know, I guess you kind of have to if you're charging that much for the house, um, if you know what I mean. It looks very well done, to be honest. I think probably he had, like, an estate agent or something who tried to um, do the place up, if you know what I mean, uh, to try to make it look nice. It's a very well-written essay here as well. Situated in a quiet cul-de-sac at the top of Cabin Park lies Four Sycamore Grove. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it.